Hey guys, Steven with Reflection here. Today we're gonna look at incorporating the edge into one of your workouts and what to do if there's more than one person. Let's show you how. So in the same way that you would work out your legs doing squats, we need to strengthen our brain by doing neuro training. So the key we're gonna focus on today is training your brain while you're fatigued. This is important because we wanna stay mentally sharp while we're in a fatigued state. So today we're not gonna focus on sports specific workout, but rather general neuro training while fatigued. So take ideas from this workout, run with it, and adapt it to your sport. So today we're gonna be showing you two different workouts, an endurance workout and a weightlifting workout. We're gonna show you how to do a workout with two people. We're gonna do the same workouts, but offset. That way, while one of us is on the edge, the other one is gonna be doing a cardio workout. So let's get into this first workout, the endurance workout. We're gonna be focusing on getting your heart rate elevated while still staying accurate on our neuro training drills. Here you're thinking of a soccer player running down the field, analyzing the defenseman, or a wide receiver all tired but trying to catch that ball accurately. So let's get into it. go that's workout one the endurance workout whole point getting that elevated heart rate while running some drills on the edge it's definitely harder but that's part of the workout so now that we're done with that let's head over to the weight room for workout two now workout two the weightlifting section the point of this workout is your muscles are going to be tired they're going to be filled with blood but at the same time we still need to keep our mind sharp and commanding our body while completing these drills Coming out of the endurance workout, we're both tired. Think of this like the big fourth quarter of the game where you're tired, you're fatigued, but you gotta still perform. We're gonna start with dumbbell presses. That's gonna have your upper body tired. Your arms are gonna be pumping full of blood and slow, but we paired that with minefield and waterfall, which focuses on quickness and accuracy. So the combination of those two is gonna be tough, but let's get into it. Second set of this workout, we're gonna be crushing the shoulders, shoulder presses, shoulder raises, pairing with the drills, expanding out and pursue. We paired these together on purpose because they're focusing on fatiguing the same muscle groups, your shoulders. So stay focused even when your shoulders are burning and let's get after it. Already my shoulders are burning and wanna drop away from the board. Gotta stay accurate. Stay this mentally focused when you're tired. Please stop. All right, I'm gonna tackle the same exercises. We're gonna get the shoulder presses and the shoulder raises and the same two drills. Let's get into it. It's starting to burn. Staying quick though. Think feels faster than ever. Something that gets overlooked in mind training is memory. When you're super fatigued during your sport, sometimes the first thing that goes is memory. So we're gonna fight that in this third set of the workout. We're gonna be focusing on squats, deadlifts, and then pairing that with drills on the edge, memory, saccade, and swarm, which focus on memory. So let's stay sharp and get into this third set. Silence during this one. Oh, those deadlifts. Good job. This one's hard. Bunch of balls moving around, but there's still a pattern you have to follow, so it's going to show me one. Two. Any score above a five is good. One, two, three. Well, that 
that's a wrap for today, guys. Thank you for following through those two workouts. Hopefully you have a better idea of how to incorporate the edge into your specific workout. And get creative with it. Take things we've shown you here today and find ways to tailor them to your specific workouts. And if you catch it on video, make sure to tag us on socials. And as always, happy training, and we'll see you next time.